2 Corinthians 3. But our sufficiency is from God, who has made us competent to be ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. Now, if the ministry of death, carved in letters on stone, came with such glory that the Israelites could not gaze at Moses' face because of its glory, which was being brought to an end, will not the ministry of the Spirit have even more glory? For if there was glory in the ministry of condemnation, the ministry of righteousness must far exceed it in glory. Indeed, in this case, what once had glory has come to have no glory at all because of the glory that surpasses it. For if what was being brought to an end came with glory, much more will what is permanent have glory. Since we have such a hope, we are very bold. Not like Moses who would put a veil over his face so that the Israelites might not gaze at the outcome of what was being brought to an end. But their minds were hardened. For to this day, when they read the Old Covenant, that same veil remains unlifted because only through Christ is it taken away. Yes, to this day, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over their hearts. But when one turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. But when one turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. But when one turns to the Lord, I speak unto thee this day, and I say, when you see the ones who are religious, yet they are far from righteous, why is it so? I say it is because they have taken the things that belong to my kingdom and sought to use them for their own gain. That is, they have lied, they have cheated, they have schemed, and it is all for naught. And I say in the end of it all, they are the ones who are damned because they have driven themselves and others far from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never ever intended that men would use the things of my kingdom for their own gain, for their own fame, and yet I say they do. That is, again and again and again they turn those things that are meant to be, pointing men to me, to point them to themselves. Then I say they grow greedy for gain, they only look to see what it is that they can do, and I say they become a den of thieves. And I say they go on in their robbery, they go on in their thievery, and their abominable practices day by day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am giving the call to such ones to repent and to return unto me. But I say the majority will never repent and turn from their wicked ways, for I say they are addicted to the same. That is, they are addicted to the sumptuous life, they are addicted to the unbridled appetites, they are addicted to the luxury that they gain from making gain from me. That is, by using the things that pertain to my kingdom, twisting the same, and causing others to pay and pay and pay for their play. Now I say this day that I the living God do see what it is that men do in my name, and yes, they are responsible unto me. That is, they are accountable for the thievery, the robbery, the cheating, the lying, and the scheming that they pull off day after day. For while they imagine they get by, I say they are the ones who will howl in desolation of soul. And I say, while they imagine there is no tomorrow, it is themselves they deceive. Now I say this day that I the living God never called men to go in the way of the foolish, to go in the way of the vile, and be found corrupted in the same. But I say that I've called men to walk uprightly in me each day, ever may glad for my way. And I say that I've called men to be ever purposed, directed, and brought forth in the truth, the light, the strength of who I am. For I say, if the ones who are mine will adhere to me, come forth in me, and be obedient unto me each day in repentance, revolution, then I say that they will not become a den of thieves. But I say, when men will grow hard of heart and proud, then I say they refuse to see their own need to repent, they refuse to see their need to walk humbly before me. And I say they choose instead the way of their own understanding, the way that is vile rather than precious in me. And I say all the while they tell themselves that they are okay when it absolutely is not true. For I say they are choosing to be losing by walking far off from me. Now I say this day that I the living God never called you to be estranged from me, but I say that I've called you to come forth in my way. And I say that I've called you to be made glad, ever thankful, for the privilege to look unto me, to believe me and trust me, for I am indeed well able. And I say that I've called you to be coming forth in that which I, the living God, alone can give. 
For I say through me you are given the truth, the light, the mercy, the hope, and the peace that I provide. Now I say, therefore, this day continue, continue, continue as a steadfast people who are ever trusting in me. That is, ever trusting that it is me, the living God, you are meant to please and not your own selves. For I say, the more that any man or woman will center on self, the more they become brutish in their attitude towards me. And I say, they are no longer sensitive to my desire and what it is that I require. But I say that self is a hoggish entity that takes over the scene. And I say before they know it, they are caught up in the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, and the fulfilling of their sensual appetites, and they forget about me. Now I say this day they become a den of thieves in the sense that they steal from me the terminology, they steal from me the principles, then they take them for their own. And I say they make greedy gain off of that which they were meant to leave completely in me. And I say they are counted as thieves before me because of the corruption that they live in. But I say that I, the living God, do not call you to corruption, but I say that I call you to the straight and narrow way that I provide. That is, I call my people to be repentant, to be accepting of my mercy, my truth, and my light in their lives. And I say that I call my people to be guided forth in that which I, the living God, do intend for them. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And I say when my people will love me and seek to please me, then they are brought forth by me. But I say when the ones who are mine are ever seeking to make gain for themselves, then I say it is not me that they serve at all. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give the call to repent, and men will hear that call and obey, then they will be guided in my way. That is, the straight and narrow way, the humility way that is life, rather than the way of death. I say there are many who are steeped in religion, religious practice, religious con game, and religious play. And I say all the while their hearts are far from me, they are as hard as stone. I say this day that I, the living God, am even calling such ones to repentance, but I say the majority will have no part of me. But I say they will grow increasingly more bitter and cynical, and I say they will devise more and more schemes to gain their gain. That is, they will continue in a way that I never ordained nor did I provide. And I say they will go in the way of corruption, the way of destruction, because they are far from me. Now I say this day that I the living God when I call on men to repent, I know exactly what it is that I do, what it is that I desire. And I say when men through pride will claim they have no need of repentance, that they think they are all right, no, they are setting themselves up in pride. That is, they are assuming they are all right, when really it is not true at all. For I say if I the living God to give the call to all to repent, then no, they are needy of the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that you would come forth rejoicing, that you would come forth ever thankful to be guided in me. And I say that I do intend that you would be thankful to perceive and receive of the truth, the light, the strength of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way of mercy intended. And it is me, the living God, who will ever direct and correct you, for yes, indeed, you are mine. Now I say, therefore, this day, continue to keep on trusting, to keep on believing, to keep on following me. And I say, be made glad that through me so are you given the light, the truth, and the strength day by day. For I say that I, the living God, will not, absolutely will not withhold any good thing when you seek to walk uprightly in repentance unto me. But I say, when a man is seeking for the religious gain, when he's seeking to make his fame, when he's seeking to be well spoken of, applauded, and approved, no, he is centered upon self. For I say that he's not seeking for that which pleases me, but rather for that which promotes his own way. Now I say, this day when I, the living God, do look upon the countless ones who have gone in such a way, I say that I see them for what they are. That is, they are fools who are blinded by pride and taken in the love of self. And I say they are far from the way that I, the living God, do intend the way that I provide. Yes, they have gone their own way. And I say they are taken in that which is, of course, far from me. 
Now I say this day be glad that you can continue to look to me, to believe me, to serve me each and every day. And I say be thankful that I will give to you the light upon the path and the mercy of who I am. And I say be thankful that through me you will be directed, corrected, and brought forth. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, the way of mercy provided. Therefore I say this day continue, continue, continue as a steadfast people who are ever looking unto me, believing and trusting in me, for I am indeed well able. And I say it is me, the living God, who will show forth the light upon the path that I, the living God, do intend for my own to walk in. And I say when my people will continue in humility, then I say they can readily accept my way. But I say when my people will go in the way of the proud, the defiant, where do they end? I say they end in a heap, they end in a ditch, and they end in destruction of soul. I say this day do not, absolutely do not defy me, but I say seek to please me, obey me, and come forth in my way. And I say be made glad that it is me you are meant to serve, to obey, and follow after. That is, do not be giving yourself over to a multitude of demons, to a multitude of foul spirits that will only damn your soul. But I say, be giving yourself unto me each day, for it is me you are meant to please. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am giving the call to all men to repent. And yes, all men are needy of the same. That is, of humbling themselves, of accepting my way, and walking in the truth that I provide. And I say, when the ones who will serve me will do so in the attitude of gratitude, then I say, they are found pleasing unto me. But I say, when the ones who are claiming they love me will go off in the way of their own understanding, they are going in the way of hard-headed, stubborn, proud fools. And yes, they will end as the den of thieves that is separated from me. Now I say, there are those who will be classified as a den of thieves and robbers, even though they do not make great gain off of the things of my kingdom. But I say they are stealing from me the time that I have purchased. They are stealing from me the way that I intended for them. And I say they are taking and perverting and twisting what it is that I, the living God, do intend and making it their way. And I say they are counted as thieves before me, even though they do not extract huge sums of money. I say they cheat on me. Now I say this day, do not, absolutely do not, be found a cheater, a liar, a schemer, a thief, but I say be faithful and true unto me. And I say when you find an emotive within yourself that is not pleasing unto me, I say repent over the same. That is, do not continue to think you can do it your way, have it your way, and still be found pleasing me. But I say, come to know, understand, and realize that you must indeed walk uprightly in me. That is, you must come forth in the way that I offer, the way that I give, the way that is eternal life. And I say, be thankful each day that I am the one who gives to you all that you shall ever need to be guided forth by me. That is, if you continue in the way of repentance, revolution, the humility way that is my life. That is, if you continue in the mindset of repentance, then I say you are covered in subjectivity unto me. But I say if you flare up and decide you are all right, decide you've had enough, decide you are finished with doing it my way, then where do you end? I say that you end in the calamity, you end in the sorrow, the futility of those who became the den of thieves. For I say when men will be thieving from me, I say they are proving they are unworthy of me. And yes, they are proving they are far from the way that I, the living God, did intend for them. And yes, they will know desolation of soul because they have yielded to forces other than me. And I say they have given themselves over to love of self rather than loving me. Now I say if any man will truly love me, then I say that he will keep my commandments. I say that he will continue in repentance, revolution, the humility way that I provide. And I say that he will seek to please me, obey me, rather than bowing to the God of self. I say be thankful that it is me that you serve. Why? Because God is trying to get my attention. He's trying to get me back before I... Come.